the year, guys. We've seen that a lot recently. He just, you know, doesn't matter who's in front of him. He's a great player, and uh, he's going to find a way to score and be efficient in doing so. Um, so Jared Allen is a hell of a player. That's the number one defense in the NBA. And you know, for us to put up 121, 28 assists, 17 threes, you know, those are great numbers across the board. It wasn't just Nikola. Um, so, yeah, I give our guys a ton of credit. And uh, Nikola's seen a lot, you know I mean, like, uh, you know, from past matchups within our division and, and so on and so forth. So, uh, but we know that when we play them in Cleveland, it'll be a different story. You know, they'll be geeked up to play in front of a great home crowd. And uh, hopefully we can be as effective and efficient. Whenever there is a defender who might have a good game or two against Nicola defensively, it seems like he solves that problem basically overnight for the next meeting. Have you seen a player problem solve this quickly like Nicola Jokic does no matter who he's facing? Um... Well, I've been around some really good players. So, you know, it's like, you know, LeBron James is a guy that has seen everything under the sun. Um, and same thing. And I compare those two a lot, and people think I'm crazy. But aside from the athleticism, their IQ and their ability to play chess and not checkers is just remarkable. And to read the situation, not only how I'm being guarded, but the other four defenders on the floor. And, uh, yeah, Nicola, he's like a, uh, a computer, man. He, he reads that stuff really quick and makes the right read 9.9 .9 times out of 10. So, Coach, there was a moment in the middle of the fourth quarter, I think you were calling out Bones. I went over and spoke to him for, I think, about 20 seconds there. Just wondering, what, what was the message there? Oh, just telling him he had a great game for us. Played really well, scored the ball, helped carry the load while we had starters out. And uh, it, was, it was good to see him continue to play at a high level. Was, was he frustrated uh, I mean, you know, I think, I think Bones, I think everybody on our bench thought it was a shooting foul, which it was obviously not a shooting foul. And then, you know, they, when they reviewed it, they reviewed it and saw that, you know, in their eyes, again, I haven't seen a, a really good example of the, uh, the video um, that he inadvertently made contact with uh, the defender's midsection. And so uh, that's why they called the technical foul. But um, no, I mean, Bones, look at his line, you know, 13 points, very efficient in doing so, um, did a lot of good things for us. So I thought him and Bruce off the bench. And I thought DeAndre Jordan, I got to give DeAndre a lot of love tonight. You know, we've been going with Zeke Naji. Zeke's been playing well. Um, I told our coaches at halftime, I said, we've given up 11 offense rebounds in the first half. And uh, DeAndre Jordan is probably our best defensive rebounder. If you go per 36, he, I mean, his rebounding is off the charts. So want to get a little bit more size and physicality with DJ out there. And I thought his impact, you know, for a guy that only played six minutes, I thought he, he impacted the game in a real positive manner. Um, so that was great to see as well. Village, uh, how would you evaluate his own defense tonight? I thought it was great. Uh, um, I thought it was great until the shot went up. And then, uh, you know, and what I mean by that is, you know, when you're in the zone, you have to find a guy in your area. And I thought they had, I think, we went to it, Chris, in the first half. I think they had scored 36 in our paint. They were just scoring at will. And they had only made three threes to that point. So it was on a free throw. I said, let's go back fist one time, what we call our zone, and see how it works. And I thought it was great because it kept Garland out of our paint. Uh, but we just had a hard time rebounding out of it. And uh, if we can clean that up, I thought it was really effective. And to that point, I'd say in the last three weeks, in the last 15 games, we've had some games where I think our zone has helped us win. I thought tonight was one of those. It looked like Jamal uh, was trying to just get back in for a couple minutes with like three minutes to go. And I'm just curious what that process was like. So you had a nice lead there and, and how you thought he responded to his back to back. Well, I'm just so proud of him, man. Like uh, re forgetting the last three minutes of the game, I mean, it's got to be close to 600 days since he's played a back to back. That's incredible. Like I, today, I don't know if you guys realize the magnitude of it, but like this is a big, big step for Jamal and this team. Um, the fact that he only, he only played 21 last night really helped. Tried to keep his number uh, minutes down, and he played 32 tonight. But uh, mentally, that's got to be so invigorating for him to say, you know what, I can do this. And uh, he just continues to make steps in the right direction. So I'm so proud of him. He was defensive player of the game tonight, along with DeAndre Jordan. Um, I thought Jamal's energy at 10 contests. He had two blocks. He was into the ball. 
Uh, he, he's, he was guarding a guy in Darius Garland, who was an all-star last year, and I thought he was terrific in that. So I love Jamal, so proud of him, and uh, you know, just another you know, check-the-box moment as we move forward to getting him back to being the complete player we know he is. One more. Michael, I know the team isn't fully healthy, but the way you utilize the bench at times this season, it seems like it depends on who you guys are playing. You play the matchups, bigger guys, DJ, maybe you want to stretch before you go to Z. Can you kind of talk about it? It's more like a mm-hmm. baseball goal. Yeah, no, that, that's that, that's that's a good point. I think early in the season it was much more of that, where it's almost like, okay, who are we playing, kind of determined. I would say um, I'm not sure how many games it's been now, but probably within the last ten games, I, big or small, I played Zeke. Yeah, I, I, I think, as I told DeAndre, and he's been great as a pro, and being a leader. I uh, said, so listen, we, I need to find out what Zeke Naji can bring to the table. And I can't do that in like, just two game windows. No one can do that in a two day window. We need to see Zeke have an extended run. And um, I talked to DeAndre today as we were going through the walkthrough, and I said, just you know, stay with me. I said, your leadership, your positivity has been impactful for me and the team, but you also got to stay ready because, you know, if something happens, you know, we need you to come in. And tonight was a great example of that. So uh, earlier in the season, it was much more that and who we're we playing, but. Been going with Zeke Najee. Zeke's done a good job, but tonight we were getting our butts kicked on the glass. And one thing I know about DJ, he's, he's going to rebound the ball. And tonight I felt he was also a rim protector. And now you're getting, you know, a lot from him, which is, uh, which is terrific. Appreciate it, guys.